National Weather Service in Sterling, Virginia has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Southern Stafford County in Northern Virginia. Sorry, NDA 2007 here. Um, so, yeah, today is Wednesday, October 14th, 2020. Um, I'll do a weather collection video a little later, but I have to expand my collection. I have gone a radio check 12-519. And this, believe it, is the W300 that used to be right by my bed. I got that and this for fifteen dollars. I got both of them for fifteen dollars. Not a piece, just fifteen dollars. Central Also, you may hear peak broadcast. That's because I have broadcast five pulled up on my Peters. That after this clip of the required weekly test, I'll put this in because I'm now. Editing my videos with Microsoft Video Editor because I made an intro. So, yeah. I'm also going to record the required weekly test off of broadcast file on my computer using the same capturing thing you use for if you're recording video games. So that if you said so you'd be able to have and kind of be, you know, you can have valid tones. Of WXK5's weekly test. 
So there are things to be about since the BF, the BF, the BF, the BF, the BF, the BF, the this is your weather radio station, WXK85 in Oklahoma City, operating on a frequency of 162.40 megahertz. I'm gonna go ahead in. There we are. Why that thing's not doing anything on that? There we There it goes. <laughs> the fax machine, because this thing sounds like a fax machine. 1 a.m. That is weird. And then, now it's playing on broadcast phone. So there you are. It's being captured. I'm not sure when that one expires. And also, it is Halloween, so I did kind of decorate my weather area. You have just heard a test of the National Weather Service radio warning alarm feature. I'm Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary in any given location. This will be more noticeable at a greater distance. So, I'll listen to broadcast by feed. Weird. See here, this 559 up here, that means, if you don't know, in case you're not aware of how Radio Shack radios are programmed, the, this may look like it says 559 p.m. or 559 a.m., but Radio Shack radio, instead of being like the WR300, where it shows what time it ends, see here? It says 1, and the letter A, that indicates 1 a.m. Oh, sorry, I put my hand in front of the camera, I do apologize. So yeah, that 1, 1 a.m., that's 1 a.m. there, see the 1, and then the A. I wonder why they toned it for 1 a.m. Anyway, the radio shack radio, instead of showing what time expires, it shows the hour so the the, num the two numbers below the to the right of the colon indicate how many minutes are left of it so normally for the car we could test to be it show 59 or 58 and it'll count down and then the stuff the number to the left of the colon to Numbers left of the to the left of the colon, the one or two numbers left to the left of the colon indicate the hour. How many hours are left? So that indicates five hours fifty seven minutes. It's weird. So yeah, I'll go ahead. And stop the recording. So. Yeah. Thank you all for watching, and that will be it. Strongest winds are expected across the western half of Oklahoma and western North Texas, where gusts of 40 to 50 miles an hour are possible. Get graphics and more details at weather.gov slash Norman, and follow our weather forecast office on Twitter and Facebook. This is your weather radio station, WXK85 in Oklahoma City, operating on a frequency of 162.40 megahertz.
National Web Service Radio Warning Alarm feature. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at a greater distance from the transmitter, will occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. During severe weather, the warning alarm will be activated for severe thunderstorm and tornado watches, and for severe thunderstorm, tornado, and flash flood warnings. The warning alarm will also be used for civil emergency messages. A test of the warning alarm feature of National Weather Service Radio is conducted at 12 noon and 7 p.m. each Wednesday, unless there is a significant risk of severe weather in the area. You have just heard a test of the National Weather Service Radio Warning Alarm feature. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at a greater distance from the transmitter, will occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. During severe weather, the warning alarm will be activated for severe thunderstorm and tornado watches, and for severe thunderstorm, tornado, and flash flood warnings. The warning alarm will also be used for civil emergency messages. A test of the warning alarm feature of National Weather Service Radio is conducted at 12 noon and 7 p.m. each Wednesday, unless there is a significant risk of severe weather in the area. From the Norman Forecast Office, here is the forecast for Oklahoma City and surrounding area. Rest of tonight, increasing clouds, 